All right, so there are three different ways to freeze a frame in Premiere Pro. The first way, which I think is the most useful, begins by positioning the time marker on the timeline to where you want to freeze your frame. Right click your clip and select Insert Frame Hold Segment. This will insert a two second frame hold at the time marker's position. To make your frame hold longer or shorter, hold down the control key on your keyboard if you're using Windows or the command key on Mac while positioning your cursor at the end of the frame hold clip. The cursor should turn into a yellow bracket with an arrow. Drag it to extend or decrease its duration and the trailing clips will automatically shift with the frame hold. This is called ripple editing. Now you can extend the duration without ripple editing by just moving your trailing clips before dragging the frame hold's end, but I think control dragging the end will save you a lot of time. Alright, I'm going to undo my frame hold and show you the second way to freeze a frame. Position your time marker to where you want to freeze the frame. Right click your clip and select add frame hold. This will make a cut and freeze the rest of your clip so you really only want to use this method if you are finished with clip and just want to freeze its end. Okay, now I'm going to undo this and show you the third way which is creating an image out of a still shot. Position the time marker to where you want to freeze the frame. Under the video preview, click this little camera button to export the frame. Give it a name if you want and select the image format you'd like to save it as. And make sure you check the Import into Project checkbox. Then just drag the still image from the project panel to the track above your clip on the timeline at the time marker's position. Now if you want your clip to keep playing normally after the frame hold, you're going to want to make a cut at the time marker's position where the still image starts. Then just drag your cut clip to the end of your image. Okay, and now it freezes my frame before it continues to play back normally. Alright, and those are all three ways to freeze a frame in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and see you next time.